Hi folks, in this video we're going to show you how to shoot blast weapons. So, Matt, you've got your plague tanks there ready on the hill. Do you want to show us how it works? Yeah, so blasts come in two flavours. Um, you can always fire uh, direct, so if you can see your target you can just, you can just fire a blast weapon at it. Um, or your, some uh, weapons, like the artillery here, can fire up and over and therefore they can fire indirect. So they can choose to do that if they can see their target or even if they can't see their, their target, they can fire up and over and, 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 and hope they hit. <laughs> um, for blast weapons, we use these blast templates um, to see what the area of effect is before we roll to, to hit. Now, to fire indirect, like these guys are going to have to, they've got this, this hills in the way, so they can't actually see these guys. They have to be on Overwatch, which are the, the, the red action tokens. So I would spend that and then, and then fire. Now I get one blast template for each uh, vehicle in the unit. So if I'd lost a couple, then I'd just be down to just, just the one. Um, so what you do is, as long as I'm um, indirect weapons tend to have a minimum range. So if your unit's too close, you can't shoot. Yep. These guys have got a minimum range of eight. Uh, so as long as they're more than eight inches away, which they are, I'm fine. And they've got quite a long range. They've got 48, so they can hit, hit quite a long way away. Now, because I can't see you, I have placed the template where I want it to go, and obviously I want it to cover as many things as possible, so let's cover those three there. Yep. Because I can't see you, I now have to roll the Scatter Dice. Scatter Dice is a, is a custom D8. It's got two hit symbols on it, and then all the others um, have a numeric value in inches of how far it might go, and then a direction as well. Yep. So because I can't see you, we roll for Scatter on that first one, and it's a direct hit. Brilliant. So now we see where the other two templates go. So I roll again, Another hit. So I can place that anywhere touching this around the outside that I want. So I'm going to go this side and lay it over those two. And then this one is four, which is, well, so I can ignore the template, uh, the number this time, and I want to go in that direction, and that's actually going to hit that one. Yeah. So that was brilliant. So I've actually Perfect. hit, I've actually potentially affected all of them. So that's my area of effect. So I now roll for every single one of those. So I've got the six bases there, so I roll six dice. And you ignore cover, you ignore everything else, it's a straight up 50-50. Yep. So in this case, I have hit two. Now, these guys have also got a keyword called pinning. So even if I don't do any damage now, as long as I've hit them, which I have twice, they will receive a pin marker, which is detrimental to them until, yeah. the, until they clear it. At this point, I now go to uh, armor as normal. So your armor on those guys six is plus. six. Uh, I've got no AP or anything like that. It's just a saturation hit, this particular one. Uh, no. So I didn't manage to cause any damage on them, but I did pin them with that yeah. with that barrage. Okay. Um, so if we if we go back and have a look, so let's, let's say I went here and this time, uh, let's see what happens if it scatters this time. And it does, six. So it's a, it's a big deviation on this one. So that's going to go this way, six inches. So that's now over there. So that's now the initial point of impact. Now, it could be that there was some of my own uh, troops over there, or it could actually land in a combat, which you can't normally shoot into. But again, we'll see where these go. So this one's another six. That's over that way, because it points that way. And this one uh, is a direct hit, so I can choose where to go. So actually, I can clip one, this one. So I'll clip that 50-50 to see if I hit that base. And I don't. So actually they survived, so that, that deviated quite a long, long way that time and, yeah. missed, and missed completely. So we've just taken a look to see how indirect fire works with blast weapons. We're going to take a look at direct fire now. Okay, so with direct fire, uh, you, can, you don't have to be on overwatch to fire, so you could have advanced and, uh, and then shot and then shoot. This is more concentrated fire, so whereas the, uh, your indirect is up and over and might, might uh, affect a, a bigger area, uh, so therefore the chance of hitting more more things um, and it's then a 50 50 as to whether you hit stuff this is this is more concentrated so normal modifiers apply so you'd still get cover and uh, yep. you know you obviously have to be have line of sight but you literally just place a template you don't scatter it at all for every extra vehicle uh, in the unit you're effectively laying another template in exactly the same spot each one gives you another plus one to hit yep. So if, for example, they were in the woods, that would be minus one, but then I'd have two plus ones. Yes. So plus one over. Got offset it. Um, so here I've got, I would have hit all three with plus two to hit. 
So let's throw three dice now. These guys have got, and this is on your normal shoot. So this isn't on your, uh, the, the straight five up from yeah. day at fire. This is on their normal shoot. So they've normally got six. That's going to go down to fours because I've got plus two. Okay. And we've got just the one. So yeah, so they're still pinned because they got hit before and you just remove one. Of one of the ones where the blast damage yeah. was. So, so there we go. So it's not enough to have uh, pinned them normally yeah. uh, because you have to lose half or more. But because it was a pinning weapon, they got they got pinned anyway. Um, and that's it, that's direct blast.